In this chapter, we are going to see how to interact with the web tables using Selenium. Web table is a very easy concept. I will try my best to make it very, very simple. Okay. So let's take an example first. So we are going to use our let code application and here we have a um, simple table and as advanced table. So we'll go with the simple table first. Okay. And here you can see that uh, we have few of the uh, interview questions that I already have a video on that. Kindly do go and check uh, that one. Okay. Um, here also like how to do the sorting or how to check the uh, paginations. I have already videos in English version as well. So you can check that out. I will leave the card somewhere on the description or maybe in the i card. Okay. Now we are going to handle this one. So here it says like Mark uh, Raj as a present. Okay. So here you can see that we have the last name as Raj and I have to make this guy as a present. Okay. Very easy concept. Now. Of course, you might ask me why we have to go with the web table concept. I can just find this element and then I can do the click option. Makes sense. I agree. But let's assume that this data is going to be changed or this position is going to be changed. Okay. So in that scenario, of course, I cannot rely on the um, maybe I can use the XPath dynamic XPath or maybe based on some scenarios, right? XPath based scenarios, I can do that. But most of the time, we have to go with the web driver, web driver, uh, I mean, web table concept as well. So let us see. Okay. So first, we'll copy the URL. And here I will say like driver dot get. And then we'll pass the URL. Okay. Control A and Control I to align the code. Okay. Now, first of all, we have to find like which table we are going to interact. So here is one table, here is one table, and here is also one table. So first, let's go and try to find out the tables. So easiest way will be like double slash table, and you can see that we have three tables here. Okay, so one, two, three. Now, of course, I want to interact with the second table, and that table has an ID called simple table. Okay, so if you have ID name or any static locator, you can use that, or else you can go with the uh, xpath as well okay so based on the scenario you have to pick so i'm going to take the id because we have id here okay so i will say like driver dot find element by id and then the id value and i'm going to store that here as a table reference okay now from the table what we have to do is we have to find the number of rows we have right so if you want to find you can find or else we'll just go with the thing right So from the table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to extract all the rows. So here you can see this is in the row, right? I believe you already know the structure of tables and rows. So the rows are basically within the TR, and within the TR we have we will have like TD that defines the column. So rows and columns. That is what web table is, right? So first we'll find like how many rows we have. Okay, so from this table we will try to find how many rows we have let's see how to do that so i'm going to take the table reference now here okay and then i'm going to say find elements and i'm going to say by dot tag name and the tag name as i said rows in the sense it will be tr and that's going to return me all the rows here right so i'll just store it in the rows way reference okay and then i will just sys out um, rows dot size okay so that will tell me like how many size i'm how many rows i have okay and lastly we'll just also quit the driver just to save some memory okay now let's go and run this okay and here you can see that we are getting four why four in the sense let's go and inspect so here we have like one two three and uh, so one, two, and three, why we are getting four in the sense within the table head also, we have a row, okay? Program is always correct. We make a mistakes, right? So here also we have the uh, TR. So that's why it's going to give us the row. But we are not interested on the table head. Rather, we are interested on the table body. So what can I do is I can write the CSS or maybe the, um, uh, what we call that, XPath for that. So here we can see that we have a CSS of uh, table, simple idea slash body, right? So this is the CSS for that. I'm going to copy and here I'm going to replace and here I'm going to say instead of ID, I'm going to say CSS, okay? So CSS, what is that? CSS selector, okay? That's it. Now let's run once again and this time we can expect the output to be three.
okay so we got the three and that is correct okay now what i have to do is i have to navigate each and every rows and then i have to navigate to the columns right so first of all this is my zeroth td this is my first td right so i have to check the last name that is the, the, here only we have the raj right so we have to check the right uh, last name so that is going to be within the um, td of 2 so this is my td of 1 and this is my td of 2 right so let's see how to do that how to do that so i'm going to um i have to iterate from each and every row right so i can use the for here not this one so i can use the for index based one and here we'll say like uh, i want to make it like rows dot size okay and here i am going to say from the rows so from the rows i am going to find the elements again so rows dot get of zero zero in the sense i mean get a five get a five in the sense we are going to get from each and every row and then i'm going to find the elements again and this time i'm going to find the tag name by the tag name of td that means we are on particular row i in the sense zero row. so we are on the zero row, and from there we are going to find all the table data that is all the columns right so let me store that in a reference called columns okay now from the columns we are interested on the second column right so columns dot get of one zero and one right so zero will be my first name first one will be my last name so i will take that one and let me store that in a uh, reference as a web element that's going to be my um, let's name this like data okay now i'm just going to print the sysout statement right i'm going to print the data dot get text that means whatever the text we are going to get we are going to print it here right so now let's go and run this let's see the output okay so here you can see the name we got is strategy we got the raj we got the man right so i am i am interested on the raj right so here what can i do is i can write a if condition here right so here i can say like if um data dot get text and that's going to be equals so equals to raj then what i have to do i have to click on this button right so this is within the fourth column so let me show you so this is my zero this is my one this is my two this is my three third column basically right so within the third column so zero one two and three third column that is here it is four in the programming it's going to be index based so it's going to be fourth one correct and we have to go to the fourth one and then we have to click on the input right so let's see how to do that so here i'm going to say columns dot find element not columns so we are already we already found the columns here right so i will say columns dot get off uh, zero one two and three three right and from there again we are going to find the element of um, y dot tag name input and then we are going to do the click action okay so that means when the text matches with raj we are going to get the uh, we are going to grab the third table that is actually fourth element in ui here it will be minus one so we are using three here okay and then from there again we are going to find the tag name of input because here within the td we have a input now we have to click on the input not the td right so if i click on the td it will not work if i click on the input it will work right so here i am going to click on this input now let's go and run this again okay okay so here you can see we got this but unfortunately we couldn't see the click action because uh, the driver got quit so i'm just going to comment it and run again so here you can see that the um, based on the raj it has clicked right so if i change to strategy it will click on this so if i change to man it will click on that particular uh, checkbox that is fine but still we have few problems for example here the raj particular element is get selected 
but still we are iterating we are looping through each and every element right so that is bad practice because in this scenario we have only three table rows that is fine if i have like 100 of table rows then definitely the loop will keeps on running and that will waste our time so how to solve is very simple once we are done with our condition we'll just break the loop so if you break the loop loop it will come out of the loop and then it will proceed the next one right now i can use the driver.quit as well uh, let's see okay so this time we are expecting after the raj no data to be printed let's see and here you can see chatterjee and raj both only printed nothing else so if i change the data now instead of raj if i change the data to chatterjee then only one data i can see other data i should not see right let's check okay that's it pretty much cool we are done with this web element concept as well okay in the previous video in the previous chapter and this chapter we are not we are not writing any of the base class uh, we will do that after a while okay and one question you might ask me here is why i am referring to the table here and from the table i am finding all the elements then the like without using the driver so drive in the sense it will go and find within all the page i mean the particular page it will try to find all the tables or the all the tros but what i wanted to do is i want to find the elements that are present within that particular table so that is the reason we are referring to that table and based on the table we are trying to find all the rows okay i hope that makes sense to you okay so see you in the next chapter